The things I do to avoid noon's heat. And yet, it's too hot. Hello and welcome. My name is Eva and this is the last review video with Glam Shop Resort Collection. This, of course, doesn't mean that this is the last video you're going to see Resort Collection. This is just the last, hopefully, review video. So today I'm going to tell you my really final thoughts, although I hope that my conclusions won't be super, super long, because I already talked a lot about this collection. So all shades are already tested, all products are already tested, but I want this one additional video just to be sure, just to use a few of these um, shades that I had a little ah with. It's not even like problem, it's more like question mark. So today I'm going to first of all use this shade as one of the main star because I haven't done it yet and uh, I'm going to use these two shimmers. There was nothing wrong with these two shimmers, don't get me wrong, I just want to check something. Especially this shimmer that I think it a little bit acts like a chunky shade, although it's not chunky, so I just need to test it once again. And if my voice is a little bit... That's because it's pretty early. <laughs> like... Okay, very early, because I really wish to avoid the heat that is coming today. Still, it's pretty much hot, but I, I cannot imagine how hot it will be here. Of course, I'm going to use a Resort Face Palette, and I'm going to use every single product today. Plus, I'm going to use these countering crayons. So today I literally going to apply every single thing on my face, including of course Glam Shop Resort Lip Oil that is already on my lips and I treat it as a lip balm and it's a lip balm. This is the plan for today's video, so I'm going to apply my P. Louise base, zoom you in and we can start. Ciepły piasek. Boring start with matte beige. I'm setting my under brow area just to set this area, obviously, to make it less sticky and to make my blending towards this area just a little easier. Eyeshadows won't stick so easily and thus it will be much easier to avoid some mistakes over pigmentation plus this area always will be lighter and make up this way more aesthetic. And now Hebanowy! Come on Hebanowy, you have a work to do! Outer corner! Let's not waste our time. Let's just apply it as a main star today, or one of main stars. I need to see the pigmentation, I need to see blending, I need to see the most important thing, is it patchy? I think it's not. There's no signs of patchiness. But I need to experience it once again. I really wish to do sunset makeup though. Really, like really, I wish to do sunset makeup. I think it's possible with this palette, with these eyeshadows, with these colors. But I really want to try. Well, unfortunately, not today. I plan to do that today. But when I saw which shades I should test once again, I decided to postpone it. I'm taking shade Batarika. I'm going to use this shade to blend this brown just on its edges. I'm not going too far with this eyeshadow, so I'm not building this bridge and this spotlight, at least not yet, maybe not with this color. Currently I only want to blend this dark brown. Plus blend this more strawberry shade with this dark brown. By the way, if you're looking for a tutorial for spotlight, I have such video on my channel. With spotlight, with cut crease spotlight, I think that both are in the one video. <laughs> okay, this is, let's say, blended. Still, just trust the process. I'm going to go back to this dark brown or just brush that is dirty with dark brown. So I'm not adding more and just tapping on the edges. This is what I like to call sandwich technique. So basically layering the eyeshadow 
a little bit of this, a little bit of that, um, until I'm going to be satisfied with the effect. Okay, shade loose, and let's make this bridge. So I'll just use this pretty light transition shade to literally blend everything here. So I'm applying it also on these other shades. And I even blend up to my brow because this shade is really, really light, so I can allow myself to apply it under my brow. Although it's still not as pigmented under my brow because there is beige there. I'll go back to beige, but later. First, I need to blend, blend, blend everything. I know that this strawberry shade is disappearing. Don't worry, we'll go back to it by sandwich technique, by layering. Well, definitely I don't see any patchiness in this the very dark, well, the darkest brown in this palette, in fact. So that's A+. Plus. That's one thing I wanted to test. The fact that these eyeshadows blend like a dream, I think it's not <laughs> needed to be tested again. But hey, let's just blend and have fun. I'm going back to my mud beige only here under my brow area, although you can see that here, here still it's clean space. And that's why I always apply matte beige at the beginning of my every makeup. Although I have to admit that when I was starting my makeup journey, I just didn't understand why there's matte beige. In almost every palette I don't need it, it's like, who cares? <laughs> who use it? And now I can't imagine myself not using matte beige. And I pretty much like when palette has matte beige. It's of course not necessary eyeshadow to have in the palette, but definitely it's a nice touch. Okay, I'm going back to the strawberry shade. No, it just reminds me of a little, a little bit of uh, just strawberry milkshake. That's why I call it strawberry. Although it, I know it, I know it's more like peachy, burnt orange. But for me, for me, it's a little bit strawberry. Like, hmm. maybe I have strawberries in my mind. Maybe I really, really, really wish to eat strawberries. Who knows? It's summer, so it's possible. Cicada. Okay, yeah, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's happening, uh, oh, there we go, it's happening, I only touched it a little bit, so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely a very delicate eyeshadow, although I am not sure if, you know, maybe it's my shade, maybe... Not every single palette has such delicate shade, and I mean only this shade, because rest are okay in my opinion. Rest are at least seems fine. Let's just apply it. I'll try to not have a lot of fallout, so only a little bit on the brush and I just try to build pigmentation. I'll try to be very gentle with this shade, although even right now I can feel like, there's a lot of particles that dropping on my nose. I don't know, this eyeshadow is just too lightly pressed. On the one hand, it doesn't look like chunky eyeshadow. On the other hand, it acts just like a chunky eyeshadow. Well, anyway, looks good, by the way. I wouldn't call it a lot of fallout. There is some fallout, definitely. But I am not sure if I would call it, like, a lot. It's a big fallout, yes, but it's not huge. And um, plus the most important thing is I believe that it's not like petal like So still I was able to apply this shade with the brush Tap it. I didn't have to massage it into my eyelid I didn't have to crush it under my finger or under my brush so it's acceptable in my opinion although although it's true that it acts a little bit weirdly. It's like, it really is like slightly more chunky shade. It's weird, but there we go. Maybe it is a little bit chunky. Luckily, it's not petal-like, so it's still acceptable. However, I would count it as the weakest link in this whole palette. 
Shade Bass Spinner. Let's apply it once more. This shade looks slightly also like more chunky shade. However, at least in the palette, it's like more pressed, which is pretty interesting and even funny. Because on the one hand, I can feel how I <laughs> scoop just bigger parts of this eyeshadow, as you can tell. But on the other hand, I scoop them. And I don't have as big fallout in the palette. So I think that these two shades are indeed slightly more chunky. Yet still it's acceptable chunkiness. It's not something like with petal like multichromes. So I guess I will leave with that. I still don't like this chunkiness. I still don't like this fallout. I still hate this feeling when all these little, little particles and chunks hit my cheek or my nose. But again, this is acceptable. I know that I can easily remove it from my face. Not like petals. Petals are just... Ugh, petals are everywhere. Literally everywhere. I would try to play with these two shades more, but not in the meaning of review, okay? Review today is over. I just needed to check if I saw correctly that these two shades are just chunky and, well, I think that my cheeks aren't lying. Uh-huh, and the palette, this shade is also chunky. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, I think you can see it. I absolutely hate it! I just don't, okay? I'm not hating this palette. I just don't like such chunky shades. No matter, chunky, chunky or petal-like, just chunkiness. Hate it. Hate the fallout, hate the chunkiness in the palette, hate the chunkiness on my cheeks, hate the chunkiness on my cleavage. I just hate it. And it's not round of this palette, absolutely not, because still this chunkiness is manageable, but I still have the right to not like it. Like, you know, from all the shades, shimmer shades from this palette, these two are not going to be my favorite ones. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to use them, it doesn't mean that I'm going to hate them or hate this palette, it doesn't mean that suddenly I'm going to say that no, this palette is awful, you shouldn't buy it, but it means just that I'm not going to like them enoughly. But you know, with this type of chunkiness, I can pretty easily just clean my under eye area and my face, my nose and everything. And it's okay. With petals, it's not that easy. Petals, I always struggle. So still this chunkiness is wearable, let's say, acceptable, manageable. Well, anyway, this amount of layers, it's not enough. So I'm taking one more shimmer. Reset. It's topper, so as a topper, I will use it. And all over this shimmer, and all over also shimmer on my lower eyelid. Why not? Just tap it. Just tap it. I'm trying to be very gentle in the palette with this shade. And it seems that it's less chunky, although I thought it's pretty chunky when I use it for the first time, but it seems it's Slightly less chunky than these two shimmers I applied before it. Okay, time for clean my face once again, this time from the topper. And that's the main reason why I do eye makeup first and then face makeup. Before someone tells me that I have no idea how to use these shades, I do this wrong way or I'm hating this palette, no, no, and no. First of all, I know how to use such shades. Doesn't mean I want to use such shades this way. Makeup is meant to be simple and as comfortable as it can be. So I have the right to not like some particular formulas, especially when I need some particular techniques to apply some particular formulas. I have right to not 
willing to do that and to not like such formula. That's the first thing. Second thing, I never said that I don't like this palette or I hating this palette or um, I don't know, hating glam shop or anything. And third thing, very important one. I know that a lot of people meant well when they want to help, but it's like, did I? ask for help like did i ask help me i don't know what to do how to apply these shades i need your advices uh, no no just no and i really have some experience with more and less chunky eyeshadows i just don't like this formula that's all i have the right to not like it as much as a lot of people don't like for example shimmers at all yeah there are some people that don't like shimmers and like only matte makeup look and the way i think that this makeup is done i am yet not sure what i'm going to use in my inner corner however i even like this combo that i have right now on my eyes so a lot a lot a lot a lot of different shimmers uh, this copper one gold one this topper this topper by the way it really is matching here so i'm going to do my face right now and i'll be back with country in crayons and face palette let's go country in crayons uh the lightest sh yeah this is the lightest shade okay i'll risk it first i'll apply it then i'll blend it although yet i am not sure if this is a good idea but okay let's risk it so let's be quick <laughs> with such products i am always afraid that it will just dry too fast on my face leaving on blended just not blended lines i like these crayons by the way very much they are really good the colors are pretty good and especially the formula the formula is absolutely amazing the other shade here and a little bit here okay i am very curious how it will all look like these crayons plus this bronzer from the palette it might be interesting i need a hairdresser desperately i need a hairdresser contoured my face and only i need bronzer like bronzer to use this bronzer as bronzer not as some kind of bronzer and contouring so let's use it this bronzer this brush and use it as a bronzer and as a bronzer only not as contouring only bronzer and not as big amount it's pretty pigmented bronzer so i think that especially now when i have cream products i don't need a lot of it Tada! <laughs> i don't think i need much more this is definitely sufficient express makeup quick and easy let's move on the blush the blushy blush the tanned blushy blush very nice color gorgeous absolutely stunning glow if you want this whole series with this collection especially with this eyeshadow palette to see just my ideas for different makeup looks than i've already showed you then just be aware that it's not going to be like this blush every single time obviously I'm not going to use this um, face palette, yes, sure, because I want to play with it more, but maybe I will use different blush, because although this blush is pretty universal, especially for summer, it just looks like very natural, tanned, blushy face, though I really have, you know, some other ideas, and I really wish to use other blushes it's like with the uh, previous makeup look that like this blush was okay it matched however other blushes would match there too and would even look much more interesting like for example some more pinkish blushes highlighter yes this palette is dirty and it will be dirty because cleaning it is just a nightmare and yet I cannot clean it entirely. It's really hard. It's really, really hard to clean it. 
So probably this will be my very first palette that is always dirty. I hate just having dirty makeup products and I clean my palettes and just every stuff I use every single time after I'll do my makeup. So I always clean all the fallout, I always clean all the mess. If the packaging especially is dirty from the outside, you know, things happen. Like for example, I apply my foundation and uh, concealers with my fingers. So sometimes the packages are dirty from the outside. So every single time after using them, I clean them. And inner corner to why not? Now I only need a lip product that I'm going to choose myself, also brow gel, lower lashes and let's just zoom things up. I doubt you will hear anything new than you've already heard, but let's just address some things. would like to sustain such makeup series, makeup reviews, just give me easier access to do such review of collections. Consider joining my membership zone. My membership family become friends with me because your support is very important and because of your support I am able to do such reviews. By supporting me you support this channel. You help this channel to develop and also <laughs> by supporting me you also support support my household and this way you also support my cats and my cats are very grateful for all the treats. Down below you should have a join button or if not there is a link always in the description box. I don't have any much more to say about these countering crayons that I've already told you in my, I believe, second video with this collection. Just creamy formula, the blending, the colors. I understand, these are not the colors for everyone. I understand your struggle if you are a dark skinned person for such, you know, let's say, default light people. <laughs> Let's call it that way. These are pretty good shades, even for someone such pale as me. Maybe the lightest shade uh, isn't as cool toned as this countering, like literally countering product. This even is called cream counter, like this shade, because this is definitely cool toned shade. However, this the lightest shade is still pretty much um, I wouldn't say maybe cool toned, but it's neutral with slight uh, cool toned undertones. So it's still pretty nice product for basically countering. Both of these shades are actually pretty nice product for countering. And I absolutely recommend you these two crayons. And honestly, I think that Glam Shop should do their own line of these crayons with much more shades because this formula is it's a hit in my opinion, it's really good. I wouldn't say no to much more shades, for example, not only darker one, but uh, more cool toned ones and more warm toned ones. Glam Shop, listen, if you watch my videos, <laughs> I should I should say it in Polish, but whatever. If you watch my videos, just do more colors, please, 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 just do this as your normal stuff normal collection, just always available on website. Please, please just do this. This is a pretty good product. Let's make it available for everyone in much more colors, please. Just this, but in form of the crayon, okay? Think about it. Resort Glam or just the Resort Face Countering Palette. Once again, very nice palette. Once again, if you know and like Oriental face palette that looks exactly the same but with different shades if you like big products you are going to love this palette however just take into account that this is pretty shiny palette this is definitely like a palette for either summer or some evening events a lot of glow not only in highlighter and blush but especially in bronzer so if you are like bronzers and countering products have to be matte then this unfortunately isn't product for you uh, because this is especially as for the bronzer 
it's not a highlighter but it's pretty illuminating i like this effect honestly and you have to understand that i hate to illuminating products i hate like almost like highlighter uh, bronzers and this product is in my opinion okay however like in last my last video i said not with big sweeping moves and big brushes applied with more with more detailed brush let's say which I wouldn't call this brush a detailed brush, but comparing it to the first brush I used with this palette, this is pretty much detailed brush. Very much I recommend you this palette, especially that these break products are just blend again, like these uh, country in crayons, like butter, like a dream. And what's most important thing in this palette is that every single product works with every single other product, like this palette in a whole, creates like natural this this glow this healthy look tanned with tanned blush with uh, this uh, sun kissed uh, effect i just love it i love it i love especially i love how well these products blend with each other the eyeshadow palette so probably the most interesting stuff from this collection Honestly, I very much like it. I think that I will sustain my opinion that this is multi-chrome. I love this topper. The formulas are pretty great. Um, matte shades are, you know, glam shop matte shades. So pigmentation, blending, ability to build and every that stuff is on point. The only maybe little minus, yes, I have to tell you this. <laughs> but this is minus for me it doesn't mean that it's a man minus for you is that these two shades act like chunky shades because they are slightly chunky they are not very chunky they are not petal like there is not tragedy here and and the most important thing you can scoop them with brush you can scoop them with different brushes but still it's a uh, more chunky formula so that means fallout that means those particles everywhere especially here <laughs> and especially here um, but honestly i accept it i'm not saying i like it I won't say it, I love it. Uh, I love this palette, not exactly maybe this particular formula. So I won't say that these two shades are my favorite or I love it or that I want more of this formula. That's for sure the phrase. I won't say like ever. I do not wish myself more of this formula. However, I accept it. I tolerate it, <laughs> I accept it, and I will use it. I will use this palette, I will use these shades because this formula doesn't really destroy my opinion about this palette, let's say. And still, this formula is manageable, it's acceptable. Once again, accept this is the word of today's video acceptance. <laughs> I just accept these shades, especially after this whole multi-chrome series of mine after those all petals lovely shades I think that this isn't a tragedy I really wish to do sunset makeup and I really also wish to do some more like wedding-ish makeup so I hope that you really want to see more makeup looks with this palette that will be it in today's video I really hope you enjoyed it especially I hope that you enjoyed this whole uh, series this whole review series and uh, that will be it once again in today's video. It's too early in the morning, I swear. <laughs> that will be it in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. And as always, I love you very, very much. And I see you soon. Bye.